it looks like as soon as we start this short work week, and the last week in 2020, we, we have perhaps the biggest rain uh, we have had all month uh, ahead of us. Let's take a live look. Clyde Warner Park, the beautiful lights they have set up there all Christmas season. They've, it's looked like that, the park, and it had a big crowd at the close of day, Clyde Warren Park. Why not? It hit 70 degrees today. It was a little breezy. In fact, those winds still out of the south, about 14 miles an hour, but it's in the low 60s, uh, above normal for this time of year. And look at that. There's hardly a cloud in the state of Texas. Oh, it is a lot of sunshine today. And now we fall into the evening and we await this. This is a weak cold front that's going to push towards us as we get towards the end of the day tomorrow. But before it gets here tomorrow morning, it's going to be a mild morning. Temperatures are going to be around 50 degrees. Keep in mind the typical high this time of year is 56 degrees. We'll be almost there to start the day with. And so not too much of a stretch to get us to 71 degrees for an afternoon high tomorrow. A cold front arrives at the end of day. Like I said, this is a weak cold front. It'll turn the winds the northwest. It will be windy both ahead and especially behind this front. But this is what I really want to talk to you about, this rain that's coming up. Now, it could show up Monday night through the overnight hours, some light rain and some fog around as we start Tuesday. And that rain pretty much on and off all day on Tuesday. Now, as the actual front comes towards us, this is a strong front. We'll have to keep an eye on storm development. This is at, well, 2 in the morning. We could have a line of thunderstorms start to queue up. They could be strong. So we'll... Keep you posted as we get closer to the event. This is, by the way, Wednesday morning. The rain is still going on as we wake up on Wednesday. And it looks like most of the day has got some rain, especially the first half of the day. Then it finally starts to clear out just as cold air is coming in and changing that rain over to rain and snow. So we'll have to keep an eye on this as well to see if uh, we get any kind of mix of precipitation as we get into the morning hours of Thursday. But we know it's going to have some pretty good rain with it because it's such a long rain event, maybe one to two inches of rain in areas across North Texas. So the headlines go like this. It's going to be wet weather starting Tuesday late to Thursday. Well, Tuesday, we're actually Monday late. Tuesday into Thursday morning, we've got this stretch of wet weather ahead of us with strong storms possible Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning, and it leaves maybe with a mix of rain, snow possible. It'd be very light amounts. Behind all this, by the way, is a shot of some colder air, and that's how we're going to end the year, with some colder air firmly in place. So if you're out on New Year's Eve for the celebrations, temperatures will be in the 40s. It could be a little bit of wind, but we're going to drop those temperatures down to freezing by the time we get into New Year's Day. So you've got that good chance of rain Tuesday and Wednesday. It will be dry for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day as well.